what's 10 times more powerful than any console out there now, what plays DVD movies, and what works with your current PlayStation games and lets you use your existing controller, memory card, and other licensed Sony peripherals. If you haven't heard by now, it's PlayStation 2 coming to North America in the fall of 2000. How's it changing games? We sent a team to Japan for a closer look. Keep in mind that we're giving you sneak previews of games that are very early in development. This game is called Bouncer from Square. It's not a rendered CG movie, it's someone playing in real time. The PS2 is able to crunch millions of numbers and render all these details on the fly. Check out the fire and the spraying water. They're made up of thousands of particles. Never before could so many particles be on screen at once, offering a new level of realism. This is Namco's Tekken Tag Tournament. The models are more complex than ever before. The blades of grass can move individually in the wind. Watch how the light moves across the stone. You can't do this without substantial computing power. In Dark Cloud, an RPG from Sony Computer Entertainment, hair and cloth can move subtly. The main character builds a village on the fly. All kinds of new gameplay are possible. In A-Train, from Art Dink, you build cities and then manage their railroad systems. PlayStation 2 gives the sixth version of the game the fastest action ever, with more trains and full 3D for the first time. A new DualShock 2 analog controller comes with the PlayStation 2, and it does something really cool. It registers not just which button you push, but how hard you push it, to 256 levels of pressure sensitivity. In Gran Turismo 2000, that means more sensitive acceleration and braking. You can push the edge of the car's performance with greater precision. The controller also affects games like the new Ninja Gaiden title coming from Tecmo. If you press lightly, the Ninja throws his star short. If you press hard, he throws it far. How hard do you want to punch? How high do you want to jump? I just love all the new control the DualShock 2 allows. We switch now to the battlefields of 16th century Japan. It's Kessen from Koei. The East takes on the West in a historic struggle for the fate of the country. You control as many as 200 troops on screen at one time. The game's producer explains what's happening. We use what we call agent technology. When you move a group, its members are aware of each other and act individually, adjusting to what others are doing around them. The result is very lifelike. The new console also makes it possible for characters to express emotion. I've dreamed of this for 20 years, that the power of games could be combined with the grand sweep and emotion of movies. The time has come for this game. Hundreds of companies worldwide have signed on to explore technical and creative power that no one's ever had before. We can't predict what games will look like, but we can commit to helping you as a PlayStation Underground subscriber try them first. It's not a bad way to be starting a new century. How are game developers reacting to the next generation of PlayStation? As a PlayStation Underground subscriber, you get inside access. All we're seeing here today is the tip of the iceberg. You're going to see a much, much more detailed modeling, much more detailed worlds. A prediction for a road rash could possibly, on the next generation PlayStation, we would go from 300 polygons for bike and rider combination to somewhere from two to, to two to three thousand faces. The fact that you can actually render something like Toy Story on the PlayStation in, in real time is just, you know, awesome. And it's really exciting to see a home platform that's going to have uh, even surpass the power of some of the high-end military machines that we've worked with in the past. I think it's absolutely incredible that we've got a supercomputer and a game machine. The poly counts, the sound, the texture memory, we can bring everything together into a really cool, compelling storyline. It'd be really cool if you would walk through a hallway and the lights would actually be carried with you like a torch, for instance. What you're going to see is a little more randomness in the ability to control the character. Because the game is all about hiding in the shadow so the guards can't see you. But if the guards had a torch with them, that would completely change the way you play the game. You'll be able to get body swinging around and you'll have more control. You'll be actually able to screw up a little easier, which is nice for a gamer. We want, we want to take you out into huge, vast regions of space with giant cruise ships and planets and, and space stations where you're a little tiny dot and the space station's miles and miles long. For a driving game, for example, crashing into a wall, not only will you damage your car, but you'll, you'll damage the wall and maybe repeated crashing into a wall will even knock it down. We want to do things that nobody's ever seen before.
in a way you will be able to see characters uh, talk to each other, react. There will be like a, when you impact somebody up, you will see his reaction, his facial reaction. You'll be able to interact with characters that feel like living, living entities with, with facial expressions and, and emotional reactions. It's all going to behave like real life and nobody will have had to sit down for hours and animate it. I can't think of anything right off that we won't be able to do on the next generation PlayStation. The roof is off.